All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, what's going on, Cowboys? If you're here on the live stream, really just want to welcome you. If you're here and watching the restream of it, just want to welcome you as well. There's some opportunities for you to win. Um, if if you guys are playing along, welcome to the live stream, the people who are waiting in the lobby, and let's get this thing rolling. My name is Aaron. I'm gonna journey to my next Bitcoin while helping you to your next Bitcoin. And recently, I have been involved with CNFTs. I really wanted to get into NFTs for the longest time, but I felt like Ethereum was always pricing me out. And so I wanted to know where I could get into and Cardano is the place where I landed. So real quick, big ups to the saloon, big ups to Twitch, big ups to um, Facebook and YouTube, G3, what's going on? Uh, UNFT, what's going on? Tal in the house, dropping in some uh, some chat. Uh, what's going on, Green Fingers? Howdy, what's going on? Real quick, 11 of us here. I want to start off with a quick game. I know you guys are already talking in the, in the Telegram. I, I, I think it's working, and I like the Telegram. I like the saloon for this, but let's just do it again. So this last one, it has Crypto Zombie here, okay? Crypto Zombie is that last one. I'm going to, I want to see, after Crypto Zombie, the third person to say, join the live stream. So go ahead. If you already typed it in, go ahead and type it in again. Join the live stream. The third person will earn 25 ADA, just like that. Just real quick. What's that? 12 bucks. Now that's too low. That's too low. 50 ADA. 50 ADA. We're just upping it. Okay. Chris Crypto, what's going on? So that's uh, Ruck Eyes was number one. We're going to look for three. Okay. It's like a Mr. Malik. Oh, Green Fingers. The, the number three. So Green Fingers, be sure to let me know. Guys, uh, thank you guys so much for playing. Really quick, right off the bat, I love it. Okay, so Green Fingers, I'm not going to give you it to right now, but I'm going to write your thing down here. And then um, let me just make sure that you, you know, I'll, I'll send you that 50 ADA. And so thank you guys so, so much for just waiting in the live stream for me. I really want to reward people who want to join in um, early and on. Anyways, guys, we have an awesome show for you today. I've got a lot of games planned for a lot of, uh, at least four uh, opportunities planned to win some ADA. I might feel crazy and just give out an NFT. Who knows? Actually, I will give out an NFT because I've just picked up a project and I want to ask some of these boys here. But we've got an uh, all-star roster here. And, and you know me. I, I like to give the intros. So here we go. He sees NFTs. Now he's staring. Bought up some land. Now a baron. He is just dabbling while riding his javelin. His bubble jet shines so bright that it's glaring. He's the one and the only, the crypto bandit. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> it's your boy, the Crypto Bandit, baby. The brand new Land Baron, Bubble Jet Riding, Javelin Sliding, Just Wooting and Dealing Woo! on the CNFT Woo! Network Riding, so Cowboy Bandit. Yo, it, it, it is a good day to be alive. We are making money. Yo. Hand over Yo. fist. Legitimately, Look hand over fist. Play the track, bro. Play the track. <laughs> Play the track. <laughs> We're going straight Big to the bank, bank, baby. baby. Straight to the bank. Look at this. You got a fan club, dude. On fire. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. You know, Tao always says it's not financial advice, but if I start losing money, I'm going to sue him because right now he's giving me <laughs> some falls that is going to take, is going to put me in retirement. That's all I got to say. That's right. That's right. <laughs> right. That's wrong. It looks like you got a fan club here, dude. You got a fan club. You see this? Look at this. Look at this. Is, the wrong? is that my face? Look at this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's Who hilarious that? wait is that my picture bro it's like your eyes are <laughs> what am i doing yo you gotta send that man some ada you gotta send that man some ada whoever dude. that is i will give them a bit fin whoever that yeah. is oh there you go you're sending you're getting an nft boom even better all right guys we have a lot more introduction to do yo i wish i could oh. pull up this picture bro i want to see this picture <laughs> it's like of you I can't pull it up, but uh, you're gonna have to screenshot. I can't pull it up either. That's so literally hilarious. All right, we got some more introductions to do because we got a we got a full roster tonight, boys. So here we go. He walks all the streets of Cardano. One of one is like mano a mano. His advice is elite. As he brings us the heat, it's as hot as an erupting volcano. volcano. He's the one. We <laughs> yeah, just got a little you know a little accent there. He's the one. He's the only. The crypto warden. Gentlemen, how are we doing tonight? It is the greatest day of the week, CNFT Tuesday. The market's down. We've had some great projects minting this week. We are super excited, and I am super excited to be a part of this live stream. How are you guys glad, doing? Glad that you're here, Warden. Uh, market's down, but eight is up. Do you see that? That's eight right. Is, is yes, sir. Yeah. 
it's it's putting me a little pause here. So everyone, big Rico, up. Rico, what's good, baby? Yeah. Let me really quick before I introduce our guests of honor here. I want to give big ups to uh, Sanchi Tempu. Um, what a daily oh daily upgrades in here. Gates of Jana is in here. Hader Malik is in here. Chris X Crypto in here. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining the live stream. We got about uh, 15, 16, 17 people uh, here. Uh, let's just keep the introductions going. You know, this is my, probably one of my favorite parts. This man is a JPEG aholic. Don't believe me? Just check out his wallet. Makes me feel like a dummy. He's stacking that yummy from the future. No, Tal, he just called it. He's the one, the only Tal Crypto. What's going on, brother? Yeah. Let's go. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? This is the professor himself, the crypto, the NFJ CNFT whale. I mean, this is the legend right here in, in the flesh. You made a mistake in your rap. What's you that? said his wallet. That's what a plural, mean? baby. Put some respect on my dog. Yeah, name. All right. Bro. You're right. He's got multiple that wallets. That thing got an S on the end of it. <laughs> That's right. Put yeah. some respect on Tao's name, boy. <laughs> Diamond <laughs> Hand himself. Yo, that's a good name. He's got wallets. Yeah. He's got bank vaults. He's got a stagecoaches. He's got the whole... He's got. Yo, that's whole. a good name. Senor Diamond Hands. I Senor. would make that my name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on Senor Reddit. Diamond Hands. Yeah, All I right, swear. guys. Real quick, I want to introduce someone special. He's never been on the channel before, but he's no stranger to the CNFT game. And if we are learning about CNFTs, uh, this person is definitely a leading voice in that space. And of course, you know that I've got a special introduction for him too. His trading is as cold as ice. He's like a machine or a futuristic device. He's adding some flavor on the stream that we savor. He's from Not Financial Advice. He's the one, the only daily upgrade. Daily, what's going on, brother? Let's go. What's going sure. on, y'all? Good Still to have making you. money in this bear market, man. Yeah, that's Still right, good. man. That's 100%. right. <clears throat> Guys, so real quick, to, to get us started, uh, every, a lot of people already know Tao. Everyone already knows uh, Saran and Ethan. But Daly, a lot of us don't probably know you unless you're bringing some people over, which I think you are. Uh, Daly, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? How'd you get into just maybe the one, two sentence uh origin story of how you what you did before crypto and coming into crypto just so we have a little context for who you are hell yeah so i work in music i actually manage um uh, but the beginning of you know this whole covid and since i got that stimmy threw it into crypto and started learning about the market um shit kind of took that turn with with elon on snl and i converted my whole bag into into nfts so i've just been here ever since Got it. CNFTs then. Did, did you did you dabble in ETH or CNFTs? ETH. ETH was oh, my yeah? first uh, ETH demo. Yeah. And then what made you what caused the transition into CNFTs? Shit. Losing. <laughs> Taking a few wells. Taking a few wells. I had to move over. Sure. Undoubtedly you have some W's under your belt. So I want to know what's your biggest dub? What's your biggest like trade, best trade, best margins. I want to know the details for this kind of thing. Mm, my best trade currently has yeah. been going from zero to twenty five hundred. So not the best. I'm still building up that bag. Okay. For sure. So what what was the project? Project Chill Kongs. Chill Kongs. Is so okay. Ch uh, Tal has. I think those are t Chill Kongs in the background, right? Of Tal's? Hell yeah. So that just what? got the in. I just got the in. You just got into this? I missed that. So, um, and I'm aware of the market. So that's a play. So I'm playing. So, so tell us a little bit about Chill Cogs. What, what should be, what, what are we missing? What am I missing here? Was that the next play? It, 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 did you just get into this? Like, what's going on? Well, the, the floor for a Chill Kong is 2,500 ADA, boy. What is that? <laughs> yeah. It was 3,500 yeah. last week. So, if you buy now, it's a win. Yeah. It was 3,500 <laughs> last week. Oh, my God. Yes. So, this thing right here, for Chill Kong. Mm -hmm. For me, Kong is just hands down the strongest community. I think I said it in a space earlier, but coming from ETH and interacting with so many different projects, so many different communities, you realize it's very hard to find a strong one. And uh, my first experience with Kongs was, blew me out the water from what I was used to in communities. So for well, me, that's, that's my love for Kongs. What is it like, can you give us the details? Like, here, like what am I looking for if I'm looking at a community like, cause there's a lot of fake communities out there with bots and stuff like that. Help me understand like what I'm looking for here. 
So to me, I think you're really looking for individuals who will support you, be there to help you out in trades, you know, whether it be figuring out what's the next blue chip or figuring out what's, what's the next big play. Having a, having a group of individuals around you in NFTs is super important. So when I first got involved on ETH, I didn't, I didn't really have any homies to help me out with things or, or even people to talk to about what I was investing in. So moving over to Cardano and finding this group was, was definitely big for me, especially after dealing with people who didn't want to help or weren't willing to talk through things, especially in this new market that's all based on perception. So Got it. it was a, it was super refreshing to find a group that was actually for me legitimate and individuals found, that and you found that good. in Silicon's facts facts and just just from interacting with different communities and seeing that you know some of these really aren't strong communities that that support the project or or will stay around long term it was a it was a big sign for sure that this was a lot different but had to experience it to to be able to understand it for sure. All right, so tell like you got it repping in the background here. Tell me why did you buy into Chill Kongs? What what's going on here? What am I? What am I? I'm just seeing some monkeys with a hat on it. So help me to understand <laughs> this thing. So, um, I was not against, but I was watched from the sidelines because I thought other stuff about them. I thought fad. I thought they were gonna be rock pool because, like what Daily said in the beginning, we didn't really have a lot of information, so we kind of went with our guts, and I saw so problems at that time of mint so they had basket minting and so many more that was very alike so i stayed away because sometimes it's just you cannot mint everything you cannot have everything sometimes it's okay to buy when it's going up and you know it's stablish so it's like buying an up stock or something that is more stablish in the space itself so the space is so young but it's still uh, you can buy stuff. Now, there is shrooms coming out, and the floor to like almost 4K, and now it's literally dropped a lot. So whenever I I said whenever it's gonna get reach the 2700, I'm gonna start to buy some. So I bought my first one at 2700, and then I bought another one for 3700 because I got something, so I had liquid to spend on it. I have I have a crash bag, you know. We talked about it. So I got something as a gift, and in that gift that I got was worth 1500 ADA or 1400 ADA. So I sold that, and I got a better Kong for myself to have. Um, and then I did another trade with the ADA nuts. So I trade uh, six ADA nuts and an antidote for another Kong, a naked Kong that is worth more. So that's the time for me to consolidate and, and actually get more and pump my bag with them. Um, I think they're going to go even lower. Um, that's a debate we always run in the spaces right now. I think the price before the shrooms, a shrooms coming out right now, I think the price is going to go from, I think it's going to go to fifteen to 1800 And I think before the shroom going to come out, it's going to shut out to like the four, four, four. Wait, hold on. What the heck is a shroom? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love daily. Friends. I was following you, then you started saying shrooms coming out. Yeah, I'm like, right. wait, we're not talking so, about shrooms no more. We're on to something else. Okay, no, we're still daily, talking about shrooms. Daily, 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 yeah. So one of the one of the biggest things in this ecosystem that everybody kind of looks at is Basie, right? So all of the utility that they've offered from Kennel Club to Mutant API Club to now the the land, you feel me? Have all been kind of set up as basic utility. So Kongs has decided to, you know, not change the wheel too much and kind of go down that same route. And now, and I guess in about a month, we're going to be having shrooms and shrooms are going to be that mutation. So your Kong, right? Whatever you get, uh, if you don't have one now, or you feel me, your Kong is going to be mutated one-to-one -one, depending on what traits you hold. And you're going to get a complete replica of your Kong, not a complete replica, but a trippy Kong. And that's going to be that free value. That's kind of this, the same sense of what Basie did with Mutant Apes. I meant to the Trippy Kong. Wait, Sorry. I don't understand. Like, is it going to change the look? Like, yeah. Have you have you, you seen gonna a mutant ape? What was that? Have you uh, have you seen a mutant ape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're they're weird. Oh, they're yeah. like a, like slime coming out their face and stuff like that. So it's going to oh, mint yeah, a yeah. brand new one. A brand new ape that is one to one identical with yours with the traits it's going to be like so think about the ecosystem. Ecosystem. Is gonna delete your current yeah yep 
think about the Limited. ecosystem now we have 8900 items right so there is only you can only have 8900 people involved in the project that's not enough right yeah Mike, on top I of these 8900 people i hold three someone hold 30 someone hold 400 so each one have more. So the ecosystem is not big enough. What they're doing, basically, they're dropping you more stuff so other people can be involved in the ecosystem. So this is going to be an OG um, Kong. Now I have an OG Kong behind me. They don't call them OG Kong yet. Let's call them a Kong. But, but it will when be an, the OG, be an OG Kong, yeah. They're going to call it an OG Kong. And it's going to have... So it's like a yummy, spoopy people. type of situation. Exact same thing, but ah. a bit different. A bit different and slightly, I want to say better, but it's not really better because Yami is on a different wave. It's 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 it's, it's like two different directions. So if you're gonna look on base C, like like we said, the board API, it's mm -hmm. very very similar. It's almost identical, and this is what we want to see. We want to see a grow. So that's how you grow it. You give more people the opportunity to actually buy in the project. 99% of the time, the second tier of what's coming out is going to be much cheaper. So we're looking on 30% or 20% of the price. So if now a Kong is like a 3K, usually the other one is going to be like five to 800 ADA floor. So okay. the ability of someone else to buy it, it's so much. And, and that's what we saw with Yummy, right? Like Yummy had its 10K and then mm -hmm. it had its seasons. And those are the cheap ones. Those are the discount Walmart dollar store ones. But the real ones that you want are like the uh, the designer 10K ones. And just like you, the OG. Yeah. The okay. OG. You, it's better if you're going to look mm -hmm. on clays, for example. You have a clay and you have the good Charlotte clay. So that's 10K mm. on 10K. That's very similar as well. Mm -hmm. So if you had an OG clay, you could mint another um, another clay that is a good Charlotte for 50 ADA. Actually, 70, I don't know, I don't remember how many people, but I think like 100 people didn't even mint theirs or 500 people. They didn't even took the free gift they gave them. They just forgot about it. And now it's a 1,000 ADA floor. So yeah, okay. Okay, now so they're giving a shroom to a holder. So I'm a holder. I have three. I'm going to get three shrooms. So now so should, I'm getting money. Should I buy then right now? <laughs> uh, not financial advice. I Almost. bought three. I'm planning to buy more later on. So if you're asking me, it's probably a good time, time to buy. And you know what I do usually. So I, I like my price to be average cost. So if I buy one now for 2500 and the price going down, I'll buy more. But if the price is going to go up, I'll buy more as well. So I want to average cost. My, <laughs> if the price buy. goes down, I'll buy more. Buy more either way. Yeah, yeah. Tyler just buy buys more. more. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So <clears throat> so when do these shrooms come out again? I, I, I'd, I'd miss that one. So they got... Oh, yet. Yeah, they two got months this time. For around two months. Two yeah. months. Mm -hmm. Golly. That's a, that's a that's a big that's a big that's a long big time, time. A long time in crypto. Right. Yeah. So if mark. I was if I was gonna say I would I would definitely say to to wait a bit, right? I think everyone, I think it's you. We uh we did take a a big jump from where we were before. You feel me? I almost said like a three thousand floor. So I would I would uh take a take a bit of time before you hopped in right now. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I'm not sure when the buy the rumor, sell the news uh, aspect would be coming up. Uh, everyone knows in here, uh, I, I do. I love like jumping on live buys. I just I just YOLO ape in a lot, <laughs> a ton. So uh, too more too much. But okay, so we got a we got a room full of people here. 23. You got G G3 Tech. We got Ty Stu. We got Mike Thomas, Crypto Maniac. We got a whole bunch of people. Shana is in here. Koku is in here. Al's was in here. <laughs> Look, Al said bye bye bye. <laughs> Look, grass packs. What <laughs> Not is, financial advice. What's the play today? What's the play this week? What What should we be looking at? Because I'll Tal, tell you I what the you play said. was. Cornucopia, baby. I bought Tal. I bought. Oh man. Okay. So last <laughs> last week, <laughs> Tal said this, this week can for daily. Cornucopia's uh -huh. uh, land sale was was brought up. Tal specifically said. Not a good project, too long, and there was an argument. Well, not an argument, healthy debate, spirited debate. 
between our friends, three, uh, Freedom 35, they said, no, no, I, we, we love this project. It's fantastic. Um, I see the case on both sides. The, I the said it's not on. good. I said it's too much money. Too much money. And you said so a long time money. frame. You said a too long time frame for that, actually. <clears throat> Which I agree with you, actually. I, yeah. I agreed with you. And me and I mentioned a large plot, and I got what? a rare. Is that good? <laughs> oh, you sold it? Oh, boy, went stupid. Huh? You sold, you sold it? No, nah, not yet. I'm about to, though. <laughs> Daily, what did you say about You should. Um, it just, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm today, stupid. so that's the time to sell. I said he went stupid on it. Good shit. Yeah, yeah. He went stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. right. And the floor is way up right now, too. Bro, man. Look at this. I, I want you to see this. Just to know, the floor this actually on a, on a comment is not that good. But the floor on what you got is pretty good. Yep. And just to let you know, Daily, they are flippers 100%. They don't care about nothing. They don't know crap. They just want to make money. We don't so, care. I love it. I we don't care. They don't care. So this is a, I, yeah. I actually do care. I actually care about two projects, just two: Space Buds and Yummy. They they yes, really earned, they won me over on those two projects. I don't care about nothing. Nothing <laughs> holds my heart. I'm just trying to flip. Are no, you flip. We're all on the Yummy train now. We on the Yummy I, train I really right. love Yummy. I think it's your passion for it, and I and I'm I love Space Buds because it's number one. It, they, when you said it's the Bitcoin of Cardano and MTs, I'm like. All right, y'all. I'm about to list this thing right now. It triggered me. It triggered sure. me. <laughs> y'all talking about live buys? We talking about live lists. I'm about live to list it right now. What do you say? Live sales, baby. Live sales. If, if, it, if it sells in this hour, I'll give you 100 data. Ooh, okay. If it sells right. in this hour. You want to sell it? So just uh, go to uh, go to JPEG store and then go on rarities on your plot. Like, let yeah, me, I'm going to list it for 1350 Why? Why someone gonna buy? The floor Let is thirteen ninety nine. Mm. So you should, if you want to sell it fast, you do it twelve ninety nine, and you get the hundred data from the the, the worded. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. true. True, 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 true. <laughs> That's why he's the master, a hundred percent. That's exactly why. Man, you spend that ADA that I gave you, Ethan. What the heck? We went to uh, uh, we went to Subway and I gave him some ADA I'm for sorry, a sandwich. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident. Confidence is sense. key, baby. So, yeah, daily. What, do you do you agree on that call there? Do you? Uh, what, what do you do? Are you buy a holder like Tal? Are you a flipper like Saran? What's your What's your plan? Your general plan? I'm a little bit of both. Um, okay. Since I did start with a very limited amount, I've just been trying to build my bag. So for me, I like to invest in the projects that I do think are going to be here long term. So I have some blue chips that I like to invest in. But I'm also flipping a lot, so I'm a little bit of both. Okay, what's the number one blue chip you 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 like right now then? Hmm, blue chip that I hold, or just blue chip that I hold in that regard? Uh, hold in that regard. Okay. Uh, keep it to Cardano. Say Space Buds yeah. for sure. Space Buds. Okay, yeah, that, that's a that's a gimme. Yeah. So, what do you think about um, cornucopias while we're on the topic? Is it something you want to flip? Did you buy into it? Tal, did you buy into it? Like, tell me, guys, what, what, what are you guys doing with this thing? So for me, I kind of see games and metaverses as a kind of a losing game sometimes. Oh, um, actually, that's, that's a good call. If anyone knows what Cornucopias is, it's a, it's a metaverse. It's a game. It's a video game. So basically. Right, right. So I, I kind of take it from, from that Ethereum perspective where there's not that many currently uh, metaverses that are winning or, or even doing that well. So uh, I kind of just look at it almost like a, a long-term liquidity play from yeah. projects. And, and the way that uh, Cornucopia is built theirs was they're taking a lot of liquid. Um, there's some inconsistencies that I thought like they had enough money and then they needed more money and they've been just continuously minting. So for me, that's kind of a, a red flag, but they are very respected in the ecosystem and, and have a lot of plans that a lot of people believe they can achieve. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. Yo. Yeah. yeah. I think um, for me, a metaverse play to me, you're not just playing for metaverse on, um, on Cardano. All metaverses to me are competing with each other. And it, it because they're, it's like, it's just a metaverse, right? It's just people going in. It's, it's user base. It's not, Card, it's not blockchain based so it runs a big red flag for me in, in in really heavily investing in metaverse i really don't like them not not like yeah. that 
I think if you can get in for like a good price, you feel me on something that, like, shit. There's a lot of metaverses that have minted out at, at cheaper ranges, right? And, and they've been very profitable. Mm-hmm. There's no, it's not operable. You can't step on your metaverse land, but it was a financial move. You feel me? You can make some good money. Uh, yeah. But most of the time, it like you just mentioned, they're competing with one another. So what's going to make somebody go from Decentraland or Sandbox and come over for Cornucopias? It's always a question I ask myself. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Tal? Why are you? Uh, did you mint that, or what did you do? Well, I minted. Uh, um, I minted the first three ones, and I sold immediately. I didn't. Uh, I got one under the floor, so I sold it, and then it got below the mint price, and then I just got one one. I like the exposure, so I like to have everything. So I did that. Um, like I said last time, it's too much money. It's too fast. We don't know enough. Um, me and Daily on the same page on this one. I did mint because I like free money and I have no problem with it. I said, I'm not going to mint them. And then I woke up in the morning. I said, oh my God, it's like 508. I can make, ah, I'm going to mint it anyway. So I just minted it and just made my money. That's what I care about, yeah. about in this 100%. specific situation. So I made a small bag. I moved on. Um, I have one that is free and clear for me too. So basically... I made money on it, and then I got another one just to have it. It's a small, I don't care about it. It can stay in my wallet forever. And I moved on. That's it for me. Um, the problem is they're minting so many things on a frequent basis, and then they take them out of our ecosystem. And I think that's what me and Daily don't really like. Because in the minute you pull out some liquid from the space, mm-hmm. all the prices in general are just going down. So for me, it's good because I'm buying more. But in general, to bring other people to the ecosystem and they see downtrend, it's not good for us. And, yeah. and they do it um, too many times. So they had like, in the last three months, they had like seven, eight mints. So that's a lot. That's a lot of a lot of liquid to pull out. And then on top of that, they need to take it out and pay it in dollars. So they need to take the ADA out. And I don't even like that as, as much because it's a lot of money. Um. Yeah, we have concerns. We always ask questions. The only good thing about them, they always in our spaces and they're responsible and they come and they talk to us. That's such a big benefit for us. So if I decide to go with any metaverse, I probably will go with Cornucopius or Clay Nation because this is the one that actually talk to us and because Pavia don't give us nothing, like literally nothing. So it's really yeah. hard. Um with them at least i have so many pavias i don't even know how, how I'm, i i don't know it's it's really hard <laughs> with pavia right now oh geez okay ethan uh looks like so you've got uh, a slightly different uh perspective you're just starting in the market your your bag's not as matured or or you haven't That's had hard. time to flip as money why i know you didn't buy into um uh, uh cornucopias why did you not buy cornucopias especially the smaller ones uh so i mean I, I definitely was looking to get into it, but it was just kind of a complex process to me because it's just both like the Discord and the different tiers and the different roles and stuff. So, I mean, just being a little bit newer into it, it was just a little bit more difficult. But, I mean, it, it seemed smooth on their part. I mean, every single tier was selling out. I mean, the ones today were selling out in less than five seconds. So, it's kind of crazy, but, yeah. It, is the way they, they minted Tal and Daily, you guys are uh, the seasoned ones here, is that special? Is that like for for so for no one anyone who understands or was there the minting happened on multiple tiered days and like you have different tiers on different days so like you have the small the con- very like, unusual very small- unusual all right y'all i just liquidated almost everything that had to do with cornucopia javelins up for sale <laughs> below the floor i cut the floor bubble jets up for sale i cut the floor large type of the sale i cut the floor only thing i still got is a- and check this out I wish I would have bought more javelin and more bubble jet. I bought them at like 145. The floor is like 220. Bro, there's so much money to be made in the CNFT space right now, bro. I'm like, yo, you just get you to like buy, go CNFTs? out there, buy a stick with eyes, come back three days. This it's worth like two grand, two grand. <laughs> <I'm telling> <laughs> <you>. <laughs> crazy. It doesn't work like that all the time. <laughs> I know, but like I'm looking at these javelins. I'm like, Man, I bought my javelin for 140 and I'm sending it for 220 right now and I'm cutting the floor. It's definitely gonna sell. I should have bought like mm-hmm. 10 of these things. Oh my god. That's funny. 
So, so are you are you cutting the floor and losing money, or ma you're making money on this? I'm thing? making money even after cutting the floor. So I bought it at one forty five. I it, the floor is two fifty. I put the I put it at like two thirty, and then the after sales pack, I get. I tell you how much I bought the javelin. You're going to freak out right now. Huh? I had fifteen javelins. I bought fifteen of them when the floor was fifty four. Wow! No, sell them. I yeah. sold sell all them. of them. Oh, okay. All of them are down of my own. I have not. I have now three. Good deal. Good, deal. Good for you. I still have some Mars. I only. I still have two Mars birds. <laughs> that that project is dead. Put them for now my dog tell me tweeting about the Mars birds every day, bro. You still like Mars birds, uh, Tal? Um. Yeah, probably. Um. I made so much money on it. I don't really care no more. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do a few. I have like a. Uh, Seven, um, nine, nine. I have nine. Yeah, yeah, Al. Yeah, I definitely think I'd stuck to my guns. I, I still, I still can't wrap my head around seeing the tees for sure. But I can wrap my head around. And Tal said this earlier: free money. All right, Fact. I can wrap my head around free money. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. And for certain, the way these things is selling and trading and moving, it's basically free money. Interesting. Yeah, that is exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. That's what's so funny about it. But the mistaking, uh, you can mistake so many times, you should be aware. And you're my, doing my right biggest now, mistake right now is Yeah, you're listening bot. to us as well. So that's such a big benefit for you. Headbot. <laughs> specific Headbot, stuff yeah. will work. We it's know it will up. work. It's, not, it's an easy, easy play. Yeah, easy play. I have pet How much did you mint on pet pet I didn't make anything. I minted pet pot. Two, two, only two. Two? Okay, okay. Sure. I meant to two as well. I meant to three. Sorry, I meant to three of those things. I told you last time it's not gonna make you money too. Just I know, know, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna miss it anyway. See, right. that's what happens. All right. My super when you rare is not so the out. word of Tao, you get burned. <laughs> <laughs> Tao so said no I was like, nah, Tao, get out of here. They're I know what wrong. I'm doing. This project is solid. We think it's a good project. Headbot? But money making for you, it's not. But yeah. it's a good project. I, I still hold one just to have it. I got two. I sold one for to get the other one for free. I got a rare one. I sold the rare one and I stayed with the regular one just to have it in my wallet. I like the project, so I want to keep one. That's all I roll. The floor is even thing. lower. It's, it's not yummies. I have one as well. And I kind of resonate with what Ty was saying. It's because that team seems like one that could produce something in the future that would be worth. Uh, but not the not the quick flip, not the quick free money. Uh, right, yeah. I'm holding on to it. Maybe I wake up one day and it's 2,500 per pet body. I ain't never know. Yeah, fact. Yeah. Right. Not, not <laughs> All right, never mind. Tal is focused. <laughs> yeah, never happened. Uh, I haven't. No, no, no. Yeah, might be I need to be aware of there is project that cannot get there, at least now in the not even in the short run or the long run. I, don't forget, long run it's six months in that space right now because we in the space for a year so a long run is a uh, half of it probably right so it's six months it's yeah. funny yo you guys see that eight or not it's about to fall below mint price mm. yeah not we will be waiting price, for it it's at it's at 88 right now it's about to fall below mint price you're um, waiting for eight 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 this one is a solid project and you could make money on it if you sold it on top of that, I'm telling you right now, it's probably will go between 60 and 80 because the first mint of the whitelist was 60. Yeah. So people mm -hmm. will still make, make profit on 68 that mint. So it will go between 60 and 70. And Siron, if you know and if you're smart, you should buy the shit out of it. I'm really? going to buy as many as I can when it's... All right, I'm going to buy 3,800 worth. Say less. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Freedom 35 so <laughs> we're talking about this. Yeah, like, really? The thing about Cardano I'm going that far. That... You probably shouldn't go that yeah. far, but I, I will spend like a thousand eight, two thousand. I will spend third of my bag on. Here's Edna the thing, store. I when you said buy Mars birds, I bought like forty seven worth. What's that? Almost like five three hundred three hundred eighty worth, and I had a little bit of eight left over. And now from now on, if you say buy, I'm about to spend three eight. I want you to know. <laughs> You say it's not financial advice? Not financial yeah, advice, but no, I told you. I'm going to do a reverse image back. search if I lose money and find out where you are. I'm just joking. We're going in. No, 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 no. I'll give you my address. You can call me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> just coming in. Where's the keys? The, 
Give me the key. So, you, so here, here's the place. So I, I've got a couple of questions here. Um, Tal, what are you looking into? And so you're saying, you're saying that if Ada Knotts drops between 60 and 70, you are going full gorilla. You're buying into this thing. Yeah, I'm buying like 80, 60 or 80 of them. Yeah. Woo. Big boy status. Woo. And, and what's, status. what's the plan? Give me some, give me some perspective here. Um, what, what's, what's, the, what's the plan here? Do I hold? And then or? hold, sit. And then hold, sit. Not trying to sell. Put it in a vault as far as I care. Like in a vault, like in, a, in, my, uh, in my ledger. I'm not even going to look on them. It doesn't matter for me. i just buying the floor. I'm sweeping the hell out of it. And I'm going to sit on it. I know the owner. I know the artist is the same guy. He have a crazy team behind him. The mint was smooth. Everything is crazy. He's a DJ. He one of us, you know exactly what he needs to do to make that work. So if Thank I don't trust him, Lord, there's no reason for me to be here at all. So one of the things that I think you got to add into this equation as well is that Clay is loved by Cardano. You feel me? Like Claymation yeah. and Clay pieces. And you look at Clay Nation for that, you can see that there's a, is a deep love for Clay. Uh, funnily enough, that medium hasn't re really been used a lot in NFTs. So Clay Nation is one of the bigger ones to pop out and, and you know, take everything and go crazy. Would, so would that I kind of see like Aiden a, a copycat, though? Would not, not see him as, as a copycat project? So to me, I, I technically, mediums for me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put into the copy, right? If you're using Clay as a medium, I think you're just, you feel me? You're being artistic. There okay. is definitely that, that drawback to knowing that Clay is so important on chain. But um, I think the long-term play is for that love of clay uh, on Cardano. Okay. Uh, you Al cannot say Al copy Al before that. You cannot say copy on it's, – it's just clay is an art, right? It's like mm -hmm. you're going to say anybody that paint on a canvas, like it's copycating some it's, – it's different art. Look on it, on the details as well. We dig that art. We all think NFA, like uh, the non-financial advice space, we all mm -hmm. love that project. In the art aspect of it, a hundred percent. Like, look on I it. I think the it's project looks cool. And I like that it's like physical art. It's not like Mars Birds, some like computer yeah. generated thing. Yeah, I actually generated. like that. I, 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 like I do like that. Aspect. It's just so weird to me that like Mars Birds came out the gate so strong, and then like Clay's like something that someone like really put. You could really tell that he put like time and passion into it. And it mm -hmm. at the minute it was revealed, it was like like a downward spiral. Okay. Well, That's usually what reveals do. Uh, yeah. When when you have NFTs that reveal, it's you got to play that period. And, and funny yeah. enough, on next Cardano, time I think if I buy something unrevealed, I'm selling all of it, and then I'll rebuy. I made it. a trade. I made a, a trade immediately after revealed, and everybody told me that I'm insane. But when it's revealed, this is the, your time to do all the moves on your ADA nut. Doesn't matter what mm -hmm. you're trading, you should just trade it for a blue chip. And if you can get that trade. You all good to go. It doesn't matter what you're gonna do. You're gonna have a win. Oops. Okay. Now sure. you're gonna you can lose too, and it's happened to me before. I did a major mistake on the other side, but it can happen. So every time you mint something and it's hot, you wanna trade it as fast as you can, but it doesn't always work. That's let me thing. let me let me pause really quick on that note, guys. Just what he just said. I think that's I'm gonna take try to internalize that. If something is hot right now, if a project's hot right now, you want to sell it uh, while it's hot. Don't wait for the the javelin's the, gone to go. Oh yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, what's your profit on that, uh, Bandit? Uh, With tax, everything. I want all that included. All in. What do you mean tax? Like you know, or like uh, fees and and the royalties and the service fees. fees and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Sixty-two ADA. 62. Oh, good. Good for you, which is 30 bucks. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, I should have. Uh, but, but you got it. If you think on a grand scale, I could have just like bought. Uh, so just much. to let you know, it's 37 bucks right now. 37. Ada going up. Everything yes, going down. And Ada going up. <laughs> Go crazy. Yeah, Go I, I want to buy in uh, when Ada is probably around in the 50s. Um, so hopefully 40s. I think. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. But yeah. Look, we've got a lot more to get into. Like uh, uh, Al wants to know about the rarities. G Gates wants to know, like, what happened to the uh, to your vaulted aim knots in the future? Before we get into that, I want to play a quick game for this for the chat. There's a lot of there's a lot of action in here. I just want to uh, support this, guys. We're gonna play two games really quick. The first thing is I'm gonna put up on the screen uh, uh, a project here, 
Yes, and sir. when I put this project in, first person who chimes in with the project name gets um, gets 50 ADA. Here's it. Here it is. Anyone in the chat? Boom. That's that's a project. Yes, sir. So if you know with the project, the correct project name, um, I'll be sure to send you 50 ADA. Just go ahead and give it in the chat. It's not chilled Kongs. No, it's not chilled Kongs. Uh, but but uh, yeah, that was a nice try. No, Did you pull it up with a cowboy and hat kind of, intentionally? Kind of, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely got the cowboy hat. Tal says boo. I, this is exactly why I want to bring this up. This <laughs> oh, is there exactly it is. why I bring this up. This dang, is a project dang. That, um, that is on the top. Let's see, on the, one of the top things here. Let me know. I'm, I'm not seeing this top thing. Three. So let me know. Yeah, top Lazy three. Lazy T yeah. got it. Gangster cat. Top Lazy three. T got it? Of course, Lazy T. Well, he's, yes, sir, it's fair course. game. It's yeah, fair game. So. Fact. Good job, boss. Um, boss cat rocket club. Who got that? Lazy T. Okay, Lazy, I'll send yeah. you. I'll send you fifty eight of brother. Um, but yeah, it's right here. Boss cat. He said I'm not playing. <laughs> who, whoever, said I'm not playing. Whoever's Respond playing. Who's the correct answer. Gangster cats. Who? Who said it? I don't know. Let's see. Gangster uh, cats on the video. <laughs> either crypto maniac. <laughs> or... said gangster cats. <laughs> we'll get to crypto maniac. Oh, lazy, lazy. Oh. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> so, Tal, why do you say boo to this project? No, I said bo, basket. Like I gave oh, a hint to Tal. <laughs> I thought you said uh, boo to this project. I thought it was saying boo too. It's a top three. Is this, is this a good project or no? Depends so, who you ask. Yeah, basket is, is a very interesting one, right? Um, when you look at Cardano, I personally feel that there's a lot of projects that kind of grab some some essence from others boss cat is that great example um they're actually a mix of very two well-known ethereum projects one being base c and the other being uh gutter cat gang and uh if you look at the silhouettes and the art the traits they're all direct callbacks to both of those projects so a lot of people when they saw boss cat at first kind of got some weird vibes uh derivatives are kind of tough in this space so they got a lot of heat early on, but it was a 28 a minute and uh, you can see where the floor is now. So the community That's sentiment crazy. behind it has been really strong for sure. 28 okay. a minute and the floor I is like... The yeah. I'm into 3. I wish I wish I'm into 10. And what was the uh, mint price I on? I into 10 and I sold one of them for 9k. What? It was a Nine 28 a minute. Thousand? Oh. And oh I my. made a mistake. I could sell it for twenty-seven thousand. Type shit. But I was too new and too raw. I was not. I, I could not pull the trigger. But someone offered me twenty-seven, twenty-seven thousand ADA when ADA was dollar and seventy-nine cents. Oh, just to let oh, it, my, God. oh my God! I was on. Was on my last like sixty ADA when Boss Cat came around. Minted. Was, look. NFTs are a tough game, especially for me. I'm not going to cap. You feel me? It took me a while to be able to say, okay, I'm doing well. So when I got to Boss Cat, that was my last 60 ADA. And I got lucky. I'm into the uh, top 1K cat, ranked 200. I, th sure. I, I really think one of the reasons that we're doing well is, well, we have a lot of good people in the space. But also, like, me and Aaron definitely took our licks in, like, like the Binance Smart Chain micro cap. <laughs> like like in that market so like when we came to cnft cnft it's like it's like all right new sport different ball so it's like <laughs> but it, but still the the court is familiar if that makes sense yeah it, it's for very sure. mm -hmm. it's a, for sure very familiar it's familiar it's like it's like uh it's like meeting up with an old friend yep. again you know what i mean like and that's uh, why i'm so adamant about taking those like like sell it buy Boop. that's why i'm so yeah. adamant about it just to let you know, yeah, all yeah. the utilities that people are getting from this, you have Vosket, you have Lens, you have so many things. People could make so much more money on top of that. I sold out, but I could make so much more money if I haven't. But I took my my, my ADA and I made it so much more on top of that. So that you know that what was the you point. know what the thing is. You know what it is. So like Yummy said that they'll have that staking all that stuff and they did it, which is like fantastic. But Boss Cat is promising stuff. Like, I'm so used to being promised stuff in, like, the Binance Smart Chain space and all that stuff, yeah. and it never comes true that at mm. this point, I don't believe nobody. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I, don't I don't believe I'm, it. I'm with you I'm on Boss Cat. You know, I'm with you on like, Boss Cat. Oh, that sounds cool. I sold all Sell. my position with him. 
I sold all my position with them, everything I have. And me and Daily coming back and forth on them. But if they can deliver 30% of what they say, this floor is going to be 15K. Easy. Easy. 100%. Easy. And when you when you calculate as well, like all of the other opportunities that Boss Cat has given to their holders, you had a rock apartment, which hit a floor of 4,000 a little bit after it was minted out. And mm-hmm. then you have all of the plots uh, for Boss Cat as well. And those were... And an instant 500 data floor, no matter what plot you got. And then as it tiered up, you know, some are more expensive. So that's from turning 30 or 50 ADA into a couple hundred, a couple thousand. It's crazy. All right. All right. Really quick. I want to give big ups to Jose Serrano. Thank you so much for the, for the donation. I uh, appreciate it. I'm going to use it to buy more ADA. And because of Jose, <laughs> we're going to play one more game. Uh, and this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, Tao, Bandit. Daily and Warden, please pick one person from the chat that you will try to win for, okay? And someone, one of you guys have to pick for Jose. So one of you guys pick uh, um, his Zay and uh, and and someone. Saron fan club. Yeah, I, I knew Saron was gonna pick that. So pick pick somebody in the chat, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna show up a picture on the screen. And you're gonna choose the city that it is. Okay? Oh, the city game, yes, sir. I'll go with Rule eighty six. Damn, I was just going to choose Rue. God damn. I I'll take Jose it. then. Yep. Okay. And uh, Daily, who you pick? I am your representative. <laughs> I'm going to take I Precision. I volunteer his tribute. You take who? Precision? Uh, precision, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, here's the, here's the, here's the picture. First person to tell me who, um, who the, what city this is will win 58 for their person. If you're in the chat... Give him, give him a, if you, if you, if he picked you, say, you know, type in their name. Let me see your pick you. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Crypto Bandit, don't sell out. I want to see, just thank, thank them. Thank Tal, or Rue, thank Tal and, and um, uh, Precision Take, thank Daily. Here we go. Here's the city. And it's this one. What's Jerusalem. It? Jerusalem, I'm Israeli, dude. He got that instantly, man. Tell Congratulations, Rue. Easily with the win. Wow. Tell how to straight out. Rue 86 wow. wins uh, 58. Uh, I'm going to make sure. That man know his CNFT and he knows his geography. And he knows his geography. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. Um, all right, guys. In the, in the chat, in the chat, if you guys ha- are still with me, I'm going to put on another project in here. And be sure to chime in with this project's name, and you win another fifty. I'm taking notes on who's winning here. And here's the here's the. Uh, and I'm rushing through this because we're running up to that hour. I like to keep this at an hour. But here's the project. If you know this project, oh, oh that's Peacock shout- Bird Club Laser Beam Vision guy. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and shout out this name. If you are in the live stream chat, you're gonna win 50, 50 bucks or fifty ADA. So right now we got Crypto Maniac and Rue eighty six. One of the newer projects too. Winners. Salty Seagull Society. Dang, dang, the 35ers. Dang. Bro, Rue, uh, Freedom 35 wins again. We're going to give it to you this time. <laughs> We're going to give it freedom to you this time. All right. And then one more project because I like to run it like this. Here we go. Next one. Oh, that's the Lego, Lego Club Society. No, no, no. This is one of my favorite ones because they're coming it's... out with dogs soon, too. Okay. I have Did no you idea. know this project? Yeah, because this was the one I was telling you about earlier with the uh, space pugs. Oh, the box pugs right. that are gonna come out, yes, sir. Ah, yes, this is Lego. I'm brick super brick. excited about those. <laughs> My boy said Lego brick boy. <laughs> Metapixels. I actually have no idea what this project is. I just are you serious? It. Yeah, I, I, actually, I just picked, I just picked something. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Planet Vox Cats. Yeah, good job, guys. It's Planet Vox Cats. So uh, yes, G three wins it. G three. All right, cool. So we've got we've got four winners here: Crypto Maniac, Rue eighty six, Freedom thirty five, and G three Tech. Congratulations! Guys. I'm giving a bit fin to uh, Saron Fan Club. Saron Fan Club's another winner tonight. Just for, Saron, just for being the fan club. Fan club, <laughs> yes, sir. Fan club owner. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Ethan, why why do you like this? Cl- uh, why do you like this project here? Uh, so, I mean, it's just kind of like a different kind of like Lego Le- eh, Lego Levi, as Saron was talking about, but 
I'm a big fa- a big fan, excuse me, of space pugs because that was just kind of the first project I was able to get into with uh, CNFTs. And so I've just been following that project a little more. And I mean, it's kind of just on the more affordable side for newer people coming in on CNFTs. So they're coming you know, out with... That's a Moscat project, right? That's the same project. Yes, sir. Yep. But they're on just a little bit of a flip side it, with the same artists and creators, they're going to come out with pugs instead. Okay. In relation to Space Pugs Alpha on that project. You don't want me to say what I need to say on this project, right? You... No, no, no. Say, not, say, not say, say it. Yeah, say, say it. Say it. Say I, I'm, I'm new. That's I'm new. I got to learn. I got to learn. So the only problem and the biggest problem I have with this project is the, the, the doxing side. Like, we do not know who's behind it at okay. all. It's only guessing. They don't really correlate. They, they don't have nothing with us as a community for now. Um only Discord, and even in Discord, if you're a bit more aggressive, you will get kicked out. Again, it can be good and bad at the same time. We don't really know. It's very, very early. I do not mm-hmm. like anything they do. That's why I sold everything. Um, in the beginning, it was such a, um, a new thing for us. It was like Ethereum come to us with uh, all this, everything involved, with, like all the power, marketing. We pushed everything to the limit. But then they didn't dox themselves. They didn't show us more. They didn't show us why we need to hold and push mm-hmm. to the next level. And that's when, when I sold. I like the project. It made me so much money. Uh, but behind that, I don't see anything else happen with it because they. It, it's not enough for us. We need to get more right now. We need to get more, more information. We don't have it yet. And everything kind of fishy. Although, again, if they will execute 30% of what they say, this project is going to be crazy, crazy. Like, flow is going to fly out. So this is going to be 3K easy. Easy, easy. I'm saying it easy. But it's need to get there. We don't know if it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. A lot and of so then, Just on a little side note, all these bigger projects, like, for example, Chilled Kongs and Yummy and all that. So all their creators are doxxed, right? That's what makes them a great project? Doxxed, you call mm. them. No, 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 not only that. I wouldn't say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say doxing makes a good project. You found yeah, me? just one of, one of the things, one yeah. of the big keys. Well, I think, I think there can be, you know, on both sides, great examples of not dox teams doing well. Uh, Bay C mm-hmm. actually wasn't doxed up until two months ago. They hadn't even spoken in a space. So doxing is definitely something that makes people feel safe, but I wouldn't say it's the end all be all for a successful project. Okay. It doesn't mean it's not gonna rug if it's doxed, right? Look so at let's Safe say Moon. Dogs, right. It doesn't mean it's not gonna rug you and just gonna look at Safe Moon. Look at Luna. Look at look yeah, at yeah, Big Connect. Look at Big Connect. That one is the biggest one. The biggest one. Big they can't Connect. even find it. Yeah, she's yeah, gone. Yeah, she yeah. changed her name. <laughs> look at Bitcoin though. Look at Bitcoin doxed or undoxed, anonymous. You know. Yeah, but that's uh, different. Anonymous. So that's completely good. different system. So it's hard, it's good it's good by it's algorithm to mint. It's a completely different system. I understand. I'm I'm just th- I'm merely throwing it out there. I I, I think yeah. I agree with you. Obviously, it's like this is why I do uh, AMAs. It's like I I really depend on those doxing. It's just a level. It's just a level of security. That's all it is. It doesn't mean it's a final security. It's just a level of security that I appreciate. Yep. Yeah. Uh. One one more game. Um. Here, guys. Uh, if I throw this up on the screen, anyone who, who, first of all, if you guys like these games, give me a one. If you guys don't like these games, give me a two. All right. If you got, if in the chat, give me a one. If you like these games, give me a two. If you do not like these games, I'm giving away an NFT. DeFi rug with their credentials on a KYC platform. BNB DeFi rug with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there, there's all, I mean, people will rug you. They don't even care if even if they're KYC. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they're docs and shit. shit so it's just it like is, that on Solana too, man. It is raise like everywhere, that. everywhere. It's crypto. A, I'm like, so you, do you guys like the Solana network? So I just want you to know, Daily is a cross-chain NFT guy. He's doing me too. all yeah. NFTs um, everywhere. I think Cardano is his safe spot. This is where he like to be in general. But but he's doing all of it. Everything is available. He will do. That's how nice. we roll. It, I'm just cool. so I'm really With hustling. That, you feel me? So any opportunity, I'm I'm going for it. I love that. Right. I'm cross chain. I'm, I'm chain right. agnostic as well. So I like I do not care. Chain agnostic. Yo, get out of here, bro. Baby. If we not it, making that thing. If we can make money and right. on on a chain, I'm there. I've got all the chains. I've got. I'm on. I'm on literally on like seven different chains right now. So, uh, but it's it's a lot to learn. So I, I try to surround myself in the community. Um. 
I'm gonna and put another communities too. Yeah, there's crazy different communities. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna put up a project here. If you guess this project, you win an NFT from it. Okay, here it is, guys. Sure. In the live stream, let me know what it is. If you guess what this project is, you can win an NFT. Oh, zombie! Oh, boy. Tells PFP. Tells I'm PFP. Giving you, I'm giving you my, oh, my NFT. Goodness. <laughs> Jeez, oh my goodness! Oh my okay. goodness! If you if you guess somebody, this project, somebody has to get this in chat, man. Somebody has to get this. <laughs> That's Hosky. Hosky. Oh man! First oh, man. one, Hosky. Hos- uh, we'll, we'll give it to Hos- Hosky Goblins. Al, you get this project. Yes, sir, uh, tell Al. me what what the hype is. What's the story behind this thing, guys? Tell me what's going on here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it 100 percent transparent, right? Yeah, 100. It's really it's ugly. Is that? Is that Hoskin Goblins there? Or what yeah, is it's Hoskin Goblins, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So Goblin Town is a project that just launched about over a week ago on Ethereum. Um, you know, sometimes we see projects try to step across chains and, and bring that same vibe, and that's that's what Hoskin Goblin has done. But Goblin Town is the, you know, progenitor, and the whole vibe for them is the complete antithesis to an NFT project. So they don't have a Discord. They don't have a roadmap. And their whole vibe is just talking shit on, on Twitter spaces. It's actually hilarious. <laughs> More than that, they want on Ethereum minted for free, right? I'm not wrong. Right, minted right. For free, free it's, mint. it's like two ETH floor. It's actually wow. five ETH floor. Currently. Five ETH oh floor? Gosh. Okay, it's oh, five ETH floor. Yeah. So, so free it's moved mint, from it's zero been like a week. Yeah, you know, we can have. In a week and just a little bit it goes at seven so it's a nice how many people day. are buying five eighth floor nfts though bro it's, a lot. it's insane a and wow. it's insane a lot a lot of people are buying people it. buy nfts for 128 floor right. so, Yo, so they're using that, they're using that for <laughs> tax evasion i'm telling you right now okay <laughs> yeah, 100%. so okay so goblin town is something separate it's an originator it's it's an original what is this Hoskin Hosky Goblin? So Hoskin Goblin was an attempt. So okay, let's take it back a step. Uh, Goblin Town is CCO, CC zero, which means that all of the art and the entire project is in the public domain. Anybody can use it. Anybody can recreate it. And uh, you know, somebody got the idea. Actually, two people got the idea to bring goblins to Cardano. D bag so, Meffer. Uh, they know about D bags. So D-bags. you know about D bags. Yeah, yeah. yeah so he bought one without too- talking to me. Come yeah. crazy. <laughs> Just because it had a cowboy I, I, I hat. Directly from you. Just because right. it had a cowboy hat. Cap. No cap. <laughs> Going crazy. But no, nah, D-Bags is that CCO, and they're kind of like a little group that moved over. Uh, and they've just been adding CCO projects to Chain, which they have all the right to. Uh, but this this is from another group that has decided they want a, they want a piece of the action as well. I'm over here looking at CNFTs in silence, trying to find something before so I. So, is this out. a good project? Should they be no, buying yeah. into this? Aaron. Aaron's I, on the side. Yeah, you're I would, I would not get this project personally. I just spent seventy-seven ADA on this project. <laughs> I, you just I spent, lost seventy-seven spent, ADA on this project. Dang, dang, dang. I spent three hundred ADA on this project. I'm not getting it back. <laughs> uh, Dang. So, what is it like? Yeah. Tell me, like, why? Like, I want to know what what's going on. What makes this a bad look project? at it. So, I mean, that's the, that's the thing, right? Is that it's it's super hard to quantify why the Ethereum version is worth what it's worth, but if you really look at all the factors that underlie why it was the perfect time, um, you know, we just had the major drop with Luna, which hit the entire market. People are kind of in a, a very weird period right now, just people a lot of depression, uh, to be honest, um, and making money is quite hard. So I'm pretty sure the person who thought about Goblin Town saw all of those openings and, and all those opportunities and just decided to come with something fun. It's completely different from what's normal, and, and it's actually done really it's, well. It's an undoxed person, team, whatever? Uh, undoxed, undoxed. That's another Yeah, these thing. things are definitely yeah. undoxed, bottom to top. Yeah. You're, you're going to find more undoxed teams than doxed teams, in my opinion. A okay. uh, hundred, by far. Hmm. Okay. So... Guys, we're, we're winding out. We're winding out the the hour here, and I, I like to keep it in an hour. But uh, let's just just get down to brass tacks as, as the most valuable piece of information that you could offer uh, someone who's listening in now. We got about almost thirty people, about thirty between thirty, I think thirty between all the platforms here. What is it 
what projects are minting here? What's projects that we should be looking into buy? You're not giving it financial advice, but oh, yeah, Cornucopia was the last thing that I, I want to know. To buy. What should I be looking at this week until next week Tuesday? Oh, Eden isn't Eden seven on the tenth? Something's on yeah, the tenth. Yeah, that's no okay, Eden seven. Yeah, let's give Eden seven. seven. Love. We want to give Eden seven some love. Yes, sir. What, what is that? Where you at, Aaron? Bro, come on, man. You know about Eden seven? Now we've been talking about it, bro. You over here minting ugly behind goblins. <laughs> okay, you know what is Eden 7 and what's going on with it and what's happening? No, I mean, I only hear about it from, from Bandit. I don't really know. Look at this thing. You, you know, I'm freaking, it's a little cartoon with a little guy with a so you, uh, Bandit, you probably hit the most undoxed, like, dox person on our blockchain, like, his own spaces 24 7. And yeah. He's from uh, England, from London. He's always there. He's always available for any question you want. He built the game himself. Like, he's the actual dev. He's, like, a crazy community guy. Um, for us, at least. You know, there is the 3D uh, Mephers. You're going to see it on my... Uh, I put my name under my name. I, I have that one. So, he created 69 3D because it's a CCO to create it to, to us as a community. The only 69 people have that right now. So... Um, he's a very uh, community-driven person. Um, well, I don't understand is the mint because when I go... So I'll explain what's I, happened. He started I, to yeah. mint and his mint is exactly the wrong time of the market when everybody like got cold feet. So he had... And then it got congested as well. So it was very hard to mint. So he and paused. minted only 20%. So um, his policy kind of uh, locked on him. So now he ha he, ha he needed to mint it all of it by from his money. So he minted all of them right now, and now we're gonna open a new faucet to finish the mint. So we have uh, five thousand more to mint. Because I'm like, so how are all this? So this is on JPEG, they're game? all available. Like on, when you go on JPEG store, they're all there. I'm like, how is that? Yeah, possible? but you cannot buy them because um, it's gonna re. It's uh, it's a bit different. This mint basically. So what's the difference between Eden 7 Child of Myrrh and Eden 7 Specials? Fact. Mm, that's a good question. So Eden has made some one-of-one -one pieces for specific community members, right? Mm -hmm. And they're on their own policy. So those are what the specials are. Mm -hmm. And then Eden, Eden 7 Children of Myrrh is the, the main collection. I don't remember the mint price. Yeah, 55 was. I think it's, I think it's 52, no? Oh, 52, 55, yeah. Because there's yeah, some for sale here that. for 54. Yeah, so I think it's going to go crazy because of the community behind it right now. I'm going to mean shitload of them. <laughs> um, I believe Eden because I know he's not going nowhere. And I know he's I'm trying to do the one at the now. bottom. Super holder? I'm trying to be a super holder. What's that? Mint 20, right? Yeah, so I know he's going to work his ass off to, to deliver. So if I'm spending any of my aid on someone right now, He's going to be my first bet. So I'm minting. I already have 15, just to let you know. And I'm buying every time the floor is going down, like 40, 30. It's below mint. I'm buying more. It doesn't matter for me. I'm going to collect them. I'm going to hold them. Um, I like him. I like the project. It's It looks great for me. What's I the price to mint 20 of those? Um, 55 yeah, times 20. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll probably buy into that one. Yeah, you're trying to be a super holder, Aaron? Of always. Always. I'm always <laughs> well, I'm rolling in. Discord, like, I'm rolling in. Bro. I'm rolling in to be a whale. I need a lemon with a water baby. A whale is super holder. I need to be a right. Let you know. A whale is 50 something. A whale 50. is 50 right. something? Yeah, I think so. It's right. 50 or 59. Right. I don't remember. I, we, we cannot Are you about to be a whale? I, I just want to be, well, first, I, I have a couple of goals. Yeah. I want to be a whale Why in a not? particular project. I want to own a couple of space buds. That's my goal. Right now, yes, sir. Own, like maybe two space buds and an own and be a whale in a project, but it's it's hard choosing what projects to whale into. So, very. I want to give my time and attention and love to like one particular project that I like and trust. So it's I'm very careful on on where I want to go into that. So. Yeah, miss. Yeah, miss. I'm so so. Yeah, how many so, sisters, how many <laughs> is this minting this week? Is that what you're saying? This is minting this week. The tenth, I believe. Um, the tenth. Yeah. Okay, so two days. What from now. time is there a specific time? Um, Check the I tell Discord. you what, I talk to Eden so much as every day, so whenever the mint will be, uh, he will tell me. So I'm not worried about that. 
Um, if you guys want to know, if, if anyone in the chat wants to know more, go ahead and follow Tal Crypto and Daily uh, on, their, on, on Twitter for any updates on any uh, things that they're looking at. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, oh, look, uh, Freedom35 says 8 p.m. UTC. So I'm not sure what that is where you are, but uh, just check that out. Make what sure. is that ETC? Um, UTC is that was, uh, Universal mm-hmm. uh, Time Central, something like that. I don't know. So that's 4 p.m.? Uh, but, um, let's let's check for Eastern at least, I believe. I'll check Guys, it for you right now. I have it in my clock in my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and call it's, it uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. Hey, Eastern. I bet. Yeah, I think we're working, but we'll 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 take we'll take a second out. Tal <laughs> 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 Crypto Daily Upgrade. Thanks for joining us on the on the live stream today. The Bandit, the Warden. Thanks for joining us, everybody in the chat. Thank you so much. Congratulations to the winners. Crypto Maniac, Rue 86, Freedom 35, G3 Tech, Saran's fan clubs from the Bitfins, and Al for okay. the <laughs> Yo, I need I need the wallet. First I'm going to need your wallets here, guys. So it's kind of hard tracking it down. I'm going to try to look through the chats here, but we'll try to do some cleanup here. Don't worry. I've got you guys all. So let me oh, know. All right. Thanks so much. Give it to me we'll tomorrow, see you guys on the next NFT, CNFT Tuesday, next Tuesday. Hopefully this Thursday we could run something uh, probably more general like in, in the crypto world. Uh, just how we're used to something like news and stuff like that. I try to do those updates. Guys, Gates, thank you so much. Green Fingers, Ty, uh, Ty Stu. Who else we got? Shahi, uh, who else we got in here? Al, Saran's Fan Club, Alexander. Guys, you guys are you guys are showing out today. See you guys.